Hi, I'm Nicole Hemrick, and I'm the managing partner at Hemrick O'Malley PLLC. We are located in New York City. Today, I want to discuss the typical pathway that you can expect when you file a petition or application with USCIS. The first thing that you should be getting is called a receipt notice. The receipt notice will tell you what petition or application you filed. It should have your name and possibly the name of the beneficiary that is associated with the case. Things like birthdays, the date filed, the notice date, and the case number. The case number is very important because that is what you will use to track your case online at USCIS.gov. The case number usually starts with EAC, NBC, SRC, WAC, or IOE. You may also get something called an account access notice. This notice will give you a code that you can use to enter at myuscis.gov so that you will have automatic access to any updates USCIS makes about your case. You will get an email telling you that there has been a change in your case and you can log in at that time or any time to check your case status. You may at some point also receive a biometrics notice depending upon what type of case you are filing. A biometrics notice is simply to attend a short appointment with USCIS during which you will present an ID document, be fingerprinted, and photographed. The purpose of the biometrics appointment is simply to check whether you have any criminal history or if your name shows up in any terrorist list. If none of those things are true, then there should be no concern. If maybe you have some criminal history, but you've discussed this with a licensed attorney and it's something that you're prepared to address in your case, that's also okay. Next, a few things can happen depending upon the type of case you have. You could simply get an approval. You could get called for an interview or you could get something called a request for evidence, which we call an RFE, or a notice of intent to deny, which we call a NOID. A NOID or an RFE are simply, in my opinion, an opportunity to show USCIS what they need to see in order to approve the case. If they've sent an RFE or a NOID, it means that there's something they didn't notice in your original package, and they do occasionally not notice things that were there, or to give them something that you haven't provided before. So don't be scared, don't let this discourage you, just view it as what it is. USCIS is asking for something and you're going to provide it so that you can ultimately win your case. Next, depending upon what type of benefit you're applying for, maybe you're going to get an interview notification, in which case at that point you will prepare for your interview, or you could get a decision in the case. And the decision could be a denial, which obviously you don't want, but if you speak to your attorney, there's always something that can be done about that. Or an approval. It could be a document that actually says approval notice. It could be a work authorization if that's what you've applied for. It could be a green card if that's what you've applied for. So there are many different forms this might take. If you have any questions about the immigration application trajectory, or any other immigration matter, give us a call at 833-848-7838 or check us out at www.hemrick.law.